Yang Yang Jo Jo Mang Mang Yuji. Gong Cheng Shuan He, Bi Long Tong Xiang, Alito Shen Zhang, Di Yi Wang Chao Zhengmi, Jun Zhe Cheng Dang, Zheng Yu Si Ji, Huang Huang Zhong Ding, Yi Yi Dian Yu, Shang Wang Cheng Zhu Jo, Jing Tong Shi Dai Zhe Ji. Welcome to When Foreigners Meet Zhengzhou Culture. I'm Aegis from Greece. This is my friend, Ms. Tan. Hello, Aegis. Welcome to Zhengzhou Museum. It's a pleasure to be here, and today we'll take you back 4,000 to 3,000 years ago, when the Xia and Shang dynasties established their capitals in Zhengzhou. Having lived in Zhengzhou for so long, I have a good knowledge about the Xia dynasty. Do you know how the Xia dynasty was established? Well, about 4,000 years ago, the Yellow River, as we can see in the video, forced a lot of people out of their houses. Yu led the people to divert the floods into the sea, and after 13 years of hard work, he managed to successfully do that. He captured the heart of the people and he became the new leader of the tribal alliance. He established Yangcheng as the capital of the Xia dynasty, and Xia dynasty marked the beginning of the Chinese national civilization. So Zhengzhou and the Xia dynasty very well, the people oriented and the innovative spirit embodied by Yu during his world control is the symbol of the spirit of the Chinese nation. I know that Shang is the second dynasty, starting from about 3,600 years ago. And as we can see from this picture, they had an influence over a large area, from Hubei, Hunan, Jiangxi, Beijing, Tianjin. Let me tell you about two features about Shangcheng site in Zhengzhou city, the water supply and the brown sailors. I see over here this, uh, there is a reservoir with the blue stone slabs. What is the main function? It's for water sanitation and safety. And as you can see, the water pipelines were also underground in the palace area. It's thick on the one end and the thin at the other, so that they can be connected. It's very similar to our modern urban water supply system, and also reflects the ingenuity of the Asian people. What about all these bronze vessels? Why were they buried so deep? These sacrificial bronze vessels were buried after the ceremonies. Oh, in the war time, these precious bronze vessels cannot be taken away, so they were buried in an orderly manner. There are a lot of wine vessels, and one of them is to prepare cocktails in Shang Dynasty. Can you guess which one? Uh, let me think. I guess maybe this one. I think people use this one to drink wine from the hall and maybe mix together different kinds of cocktail mixtures. Yeah, there are lots of wine cups, and which demonstrates a good harvest, and the ancient people had enough food to make wine. What about this piece over here? It looks very unique and interesting. It's the southern porcelain unearthed in Shangcheng site, which demonstrates the prototype of Chinese porcelain, and allowing the history of Chinese porcelain to be dated back by over 1,000 years earlier. In the museum, we can find some bone structures, like for example these hairpins and spoons. Over here we have a beautiful necklace with bones. Maybe one of the most interesting items in these museums is the seashells which were used as an exchange item. Although Henan does not connect to the sea, we can see it was very popular to use these seashells as a monetary exchange. This shows how well the region was connected to other cities across the country. From the Neolithic age to the Xia dynasty and Shang dynasty, the ancient Chinese civilization has taken root and developed in this land. Zhengzhou is the cradle of Chinese civilization and it helped forge the vitality of the Chinese nation. <laughs>